Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Two Drunk Guys Watch. My name is Rory McLeod. I'm your host, and with me for today's episode is Kara Apple. Say hi, Kara. Hey. And Kara, what are you drinking tonight? I am drinking Bambalam. It's by Zaftig. It's a breakfast stout. Ten <laughs> percent. The breakfast of champions. <laughs> All right, that sounds fantastic. I, I don't usually drink for breakfast, but, you know, hey. Um, I am drinking a Dewar's uh, White Label whiskey. So no whiskey tonight. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, I know Kara by way of uh, Elliot um, Doza, who's been on several episodes. And um, so that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, Kara's a new host for us. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll get her to do a couple episodes. That'd be cool. Um, all right, so for this episode, uh, again, if you watched last time, uh, last episode we did shorts, and we're doing some more shorts today. Uh, we've got um, another Zorro short, which is awesome. If you watch season one, you'll see uh, you'll see a familiar faces in the Zorro short. And then we have a short called Danger Women at Work, which I'm sure will be super enlightening. So I know all about that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's get this thing started. Captain Crunch presents Breakfast on the Gutty. We got Captain Crunch here. How do I go good with my breakfast stout? Uh, exactly. I didn't even think about that. That's perfect. Morning already, sea dog. Where's the crew? <laughs> Look at this. Have you seen? You've obviously seen modern Captain Crunch commercials, right? Yeah. How, how does this compare? I feel like I've never heard Captain Crunch talk before. Oh really? <laughs> It's so Crunch. this the voice, this is the guy who was Captain the rich Crunch. guy oh, on Gilligan. Sweet. Sugar sweet. Why does that and look like popcorn though? It, keeps it, uh, it is popcorn. <laughs> so crisp, it never mm. Not even in milk. Now, <laughs> anybody for a bowl of Captain Crunch? So he's like a pirate or a what is? Oh, my horn pipe, sea dog. There's people at breakfast. I, never I can't tell if he's a pirate or oh, he's in the navy. Oh. <laughs> Is in her her, her her Royal Navy. The cereal that's named after me. <laughs> All right, so we survived Captain Crunch. Here's Zorro for you. Zorro, Zorro, Zorro. Yep. So we watched uh, six episodes of Zorro in season one, but they weren't. Uh, this is going to be a single episode. So in season one, we kind of put three of them together into one episode. So this is going to be the actual, like, individual short that you would have seen before a movie, you know, back in the, uh, I guess in the 30s, late 30s. Just any old movie? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the way they did it back then was you'd have, uh, what they called the A movie, which was the main feature that you probably would have been intending to pay to see. Uh, and then you had what's called the B movie. You've heard the term B movie. But what that meant was the movie that was shown after the A movie. And so that was usually a lesser film, like a, a, a science fiction film or some really dramatic, you know, uh, like a scary movie, horror film, something like that. So. It's like a concert. Yeah. But anyway, they would show these shorts before them, before the first movie, I think. So. Yeah, when you were telling me about that, it sounded just like the squirrel in Ice Age, little <laughs> shorts. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. And the, another funny tip while we're, while we're looking at this Marsden guy. Uh, I'll try to explain the plot if, if you want. It's probably not that important, but... Um, <laughs> so you've heard the term trailer, obviously, right? When they show, like, previews oh, yeah. of a movie. Okay, so that term comes from... That used to come at the end of all of that. That's why it was trailing all the other stuff. So at some point, they decided to put those before the movies, but in the beginning, they were at the end. Yeah, I heard that before. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, we got a little education with our with our booze tonight. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Zorro in this is uh, trying to thwart this railroad guy who's in the old not in the old west. Well, it kind of is in the old west, so the very late old west. But um, so that's Zorro there, and then he's trying to stop this evil railroad guy from. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. It's kind of confusing. But anyway, that's Zorro. Well, that's not Zorro. Actually, that might be Zorro. Yeah, he doesn't have his mask on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting, you're getting turned on. 
We'll wait for the dangers in the workplace for that. Yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> You'll notice that these guys wear very heavy makeup um, because of the, the... This is still really early in the talkies era. So in the silent era, they used to wear this really heavy makeup so they would be more... But, uh, they could emote easier because they weren't talking, they weren't speaking, right? So they'd have to do things emotionally yeah. so you could see. So they wore very heavy makeup during those. And they're still yeah, doing that even though these are, these are talkies, obviously. Yeah, it's entertaining and very interesting to watch old silent ready, films. Man. Oh yeah. It takes a bit of patience too because you got to read. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Zoro's about to get shot you full of holes here. Swish cheesed. Oh, this was the okay. This is the end of the last one we watched, so they're kind of recapping it for you. So he's trying to get into this uh, this base here, and so he he gets hey. in by blowing a hole in the wall, which you're gonna see here in a sec. Uh, don't try this at home, folks. Hey, that Brad. guy's got a machine gun up there. Get him, folks! <laughs> Gosh darn it! It's the third time this week. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be him. I forgot how to. Oh, okay, here we go. He's got a whip, too. And he whipped it real good. Yeah. He's kind of like Indiana Jones, sort of, in some ways. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if. He, Indiana Jones was loosely based on Zorro. Other than the mask thing. Now, I should point out, if you watched the last episode of Zorro that we showed last season, um, they did slightly edit the ending here, because this is not really what happened. It, it sort of is, but... Don't you love that? Yeah, it's like a recap. Well, yes, sort of. A recap and a refine. Yeah, because I think in the what last episode do? what happened was Zoro and that guy who's kind of next to the gun were fighting at first, and then Zoro came over and said, you know, give me your money or whatever he's doing here. Give me your lunch money. Give me all your monies. And I don't know who to shoot. Just shoot them both. Who cares? The important thing is to get Zoro, right? I mean, you can spare the minion, <laughs> right? And this, this guy here is Zoro's helper. I think his name is Ronaldo. Oh, a lover's quarrel. Yeah, lover's quarrel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Why do you pull out your gun and just shoot him? <laughs> uh, there you go. The amount of times he's aimed the gun. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. You can just kill all of them. I feel like he aimed the gun like at least four times and did nothing. Well, he wasn't sure. He's like, well. with that look. And now, senor, we go to your headquarters. We go to your headquarters, if you know what I mean. Quarters. <laughs> the rest of you just stand there. Why is <laughs> They got this tin can pointing at him. They can't move. Yeah. The wall, senor. One of the things that we had trouble trying to figure out last time was what exact time period this is supposed to be, because it's clearly supposed to be the Old West, but there's machine guns and cars. <laughs> it's like, well... By the way... It was their version of, like, uh... That's for you to find. Steampunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's alternate, alternate past. Yeah. Well, the funny thing about this is this came out in 1937. This is only, like... 25 years since the time period this is supposed to be, really, which is kind of funny to think about, but... Uh-oh. I'm gonna give you a shave. Oh. Uh. Ha ha, just kidding. Oh, he threw it in the... <laughs> nice <ahead>. try, sucker. <laughs> he blocked it with the book. That's pretty sweet. Sweet move, Zorro. You do not have any more of these little surprises hidden on you, do you see? You'll have to strip search me. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Spread them. Spread them. 
Assume the position. He knows all about that. Fine, check, and payment of services. I'll drink to that. Mm. Cheers. The proof I've been waiting for. I often wanted when El Lobo's real name was. I'm glad to know you, Senor Dick. Senor Dickface. Get out, <laughs> That's what I thought he said. <laughs> He's got those high waters on too. Look at his, how high up his pants are like rolled up. We used, to, <laughs> we used to call those high waters back in the day when the kids would roll up their pants too high. Oh yeah. Get rid of that machine Expecting a flood? Out. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll handle these rules. Oh, I forgot to load it. Oops, hold on. He's gonna take it with him? That, that's a good idea actually. For later. Yeah, for later use. Hi Zoro. Don't wait. Don't waste a good machine. So gun. he's gonna carry that all the way back to his horse or something? Okay. <laughs> I'll see this. It looked like they accidentally recorded the prop guy taking the props off the set. <laughs> <laughs> da da da. Da 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 da. Here we go. Ha uh ha. -huh. Bam bam. Now he only has five bullets. Oh my crotch. <laughs> Quickly shoot him on his way out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So apparently the letter is some kind of damning something. Okay. So they're gonna try to stop him from getting away with that letter, the love letter that he's looking at. It's a good thing that one gun he had pointed at those dozen men kept him from shooting him. Yeah. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a plot. I know. Perish the thought. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd just have Zoro riding around on his horse. Get him! I'm thinking they probably filmed all these at, like, the desert outside of L.A. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised we don't see the Hollywood sign. Yeah, I mean, that's what the terrain in the San Fernando <laughs> Valley kind of looks like that, so... Yeah. Hello, boy, coming. Barricade against me. But who's that? You men get your gun. You're going to have a fight. Put this where it is. All these guys are going to fight. Well, okay, itself. this going to be a big, uh, big battle here. This is the most important thing we can find. And to imagine, this is before they had subtitles uh, prevalent in movies. <laughs> I can't understand a word. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of on your own here to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I'll manage. Yep, that's okay. As long as you're drunk, that's the main thing. Are you sure, Senorita, that this is your I can definitely manage that. Mm. While you're down there. <laughs> I hope someday I will find Zorro! out. Sorrow! Oh! The knowledge might be a disappointment to you, Senorita. Oh, no, Actually, I think she's married to that other guy, but, yeah, whatever. She looks like a strong, independent woman. Yeah. That'd be a, that'd be a neat, neat trick in the 1930s. Hopefully she is. <laughs> Hopefully she's not one of these damsels in distress who just faints as soon as anything happens. <laughs> we watched a, a Flash Gordon one where the, the woman was just totally useless. Yeah, they usually are in, <laughs> in yeah. that era. Yeah. Gave her a gun? Jeez. It's pretty progressive. I told you. Good. Hey, man, they need all the help they can get. This is probably a stunt double here. Although, I don't know why they need one. The other guy's a mask the whole time. It could be anybody. In fact, I think we talked about that in one of the other episodes, that it seemed like a different guy when he was fighting, like the stunt double. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Look, it's all bravely hiding way up there. What a leader! Yeah, leads from behind. <laughs> if the leader dies, then who's gonna lead? That's true. I'm not sure Zoro is really much of a leader. He's more of like Get some down I don't know. Got to blow up that barricade. He's like a catalyst for the action, but he's not really a leader. I wouldn't say. <laughs> he's a rabble rouser. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He starts shit and then watches it unfold. <laughs> He lights the match and then runs. 
Speaking of that, I think we're going to have a big explosion here in a sec. There you go, Captain Highwater. Here's your explosives. Pew, pew, pew. I need to light it first. It doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see them light it. I just threw it. Throw dynamite at him. Okay. So we light it first? Oh, good idea. Get back! <laughs> Get away from the barricade! The heck? Get away! They lit it this time! Get away! Down, man. They've, they've outsmarted us. They actually lit the dynamite this time. Rude. Breaking windows. How much those cost? I think just steps on the, <laughs> on the fuse. <laughs> there go the expense reports. Yep. Shallow Pot Cafe, okay. When in Dusty Town, visit the Shallow Pot Cafe. <laughs> he just decided to fall over. <laughs> you know, I don't think they had... So you've seen the movies where it looks like people get hit with bullets and stuff. So they yeah. have these things, I forget what they're called, but they, they, they attach to you. They're, they're like stuck on your, what are they called, squibs? And when yeah, they, they like shock you or something, Yeah, right? and they're like little, tiny little explosives and they, they look like you got shot. Well, I don't think they'd have invented that yet, because if you see here, no one's getting hit by any of these bullets. <laughs> like, not even the buildings are getting hit. Like, they're just shooting the blanks and then nothing happens. Maybe they just had worse aim back in the day. <laughs> it's a terrible aim. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely possible. Put on another mask. There you go. See, he's double masking, Kara. He's ahead of his time. I know. Oh, the letter is in there, probably. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, he told her to put it in the strong box. Okay, all right, cool. What if he grabbed the wrong strong box? That'd be hilarious. I'm waiting for Smokey the Bear to pop out. That box is full of her uh, her gentle under things. <laughs> you men stay here. Her her lingery. Lingery. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah, where's Smokey the Bear? Probably haven't been invented yet. Smokey the mop, Smokey the mop Oh, the floor. Oh, I see. okay. Oh, next week, chapter eight. Oh my god, I am on edge. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Oh this god. portion of sixty minutes. Oh, is sixty <laughs> minutes. <by> Honeywell. <laughs> Someday. There's your new computer, Kara. system that manages all the energy for an entire building. It'll figure out exact needs based on time of day, outside temperature, and other information. Use that. You and mean AC? Precisely, <laughs> saving up to 30% in energy. Someday we'll invent air that conditioning. Someday is today at Honeywell. Yay! <laughs> Write us. <laughs> Write us. How it works. <laughs> sure. Someday there'll be a computer that can be shared by large numbers of people. Someday. Yet still can you imagine the that, Kara? Of each user. It'll keep these are terrifying. Like, imagine being. Information stored well, imagine the watching these in the time in which and they were made. Computer yeah. power and they, relax. These are terrifying. Like, Gladys, there's going to be a computer. Someday is today at Honeywell. Someday. The other computer company. <laughs> write us. We'll tell you how it works. <laughs> so, you're supposed to write a letter to these guys and be like, Dear sir or madam, I don't understand what a computer is. All right. <laughs> Please respond. Yeah, this is Danger Women at Work. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't dangers for women at work. These are like danger women. Yeah, danger. There are women at your workplace. These, these are danger women. You oh, gotta danger watch women. out. Maybe. Action women. <laughs> In plants and factories all over the country, oh. this was a common sight at quitting time, not so long ago. Look at all these swinging dicks. Today we see a different scene. 
Women have joined the men in the production line. Now they're the swinging like me. That's why I'm wearing their fur coats. To be much higher, very soon. <laughs> who goes to work in a fur coat? Millions of women who have never before been employed in industry are now enlisted in the nation's labor forces. There's There's a woman now. They are needed to do a man's job. Could women be. In general He's like chained are not strong to, to as men, device. but with oh, the no. right equipment adjusted to their capabilities. They can do just about the same work as men. Just about. Just about. Right. <laughs> they have to be condescending even in this thing. Forget this. <laughs> some extra measures. Their part they still the can't pee standing up. Important. I'm the narrator. The ha ha ha. Of basic safety rules and good health <laughs> habits is just as important as the turning out of the thingamabob that's going to win the war. <laughs> thingamabob. She's so people? energetic. Where did they come from? They came from they the cafe. They were the homemakers who prepared God meals for their it. families. They were the mothers who raised boys and girls. Zest to them, and I'll zest you. Men and women. <laughs> they in There's Kara right there. They like it looks just like me. And yeah. music and peace. Dear Honeywell, but a they love fun and music and, and peace. And typing. <laughs> Some sent their men folk to active duty and then took jobs to help the war effort. From all walks of life, they came to help make secure they our way the of They all look the same. They all have like that, that bun going and the <laughs> stern <laughs> look. Alright. When we first went to work, we were told what was expected of us in the way of good health habits and safe practices. Don't we get syphilis. wearing proper, sensible clothing <laughs> was a very important item in clothing. our new work. And, the necessity and even of then, you'll be sexually harassed. Look at that. She's showing some ankle, though. We were told first that loose Scandalous. smelling hair is dangerous. It may Good smelling hair is dangerous? Is that what they just said? Yes, if he smells your hair, it's dangerous. Long hair can cause an accident. Let me check this out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Interferes with seeing your work. <laughs> loose flowing and don't get your hair caught in <laughs> that is, Jesus. Machinery. Material caught in a moving part may cause serious Yeah, injury. that may not be the best Wear outfit for this. You're going to get that caught in some gear and then... Machines yeah. have many parts that make It's tough trying to look like a housewife in a very factory. Careful not right. To wear anything that may cause an accident. Like a brassiere. Rings, watches, chains, <laughs> and other adornments may Gotta also let cause them fly free. By I brought my adornments. Look, her, look at her. She's got this dangling Leave Jesus lady. At home. Long <laughs> <senior> <laughs> just a nightmare. Look, look at look at all her her uh, bangles and shit on her wrist. I know. <laughs> Did anyone tell you what you'd be doing? She's just... Because she's just trying to get that workers' comp. Well, that's a good idea. sensibly like this from shoes with wide, low heels to proper headdress. An attractive wide, turban. Wide, low heels. Or a hair Perhaps a Navajo headdress would be appropriate. And help oh, no. work efficiently and safely. <laughs> now she looks really frumpy. And now Perfect. another important safety measure. I don't know. I think this version of her is more attractive. It's like the work that requires them. The uh, butch version. Flying oh, she's got a face shield and everything. That's pretty sweet. The first time you leave eyes unprotected is the last time. Maybe the time that brings injury <laughs> to precious eyesight. Her positive She's a welder by day and a dancer by night. Goggles and shields. <laughs> you know what that's from? No. Do you ever see the movie Flashdance? I haven't. So Others it's from the eighties. This woman is. Time. I don't remember why, but it was real famous. There was a bunch of really famous 80s music that came out of this movie. Basically, this, this woman was a welder during the day, which was already... Oh my god, clutch the pearls. She has a real job welding. And then at night, she worked How as a dancer at like the strip club. But she was she didn't like strip strip, but it was more like um, sexy dancing. She didn't, she didn't go in the all together. Proper position at our work will make us less But I'm sure you've heard some of the songs from the movie. It was very popular. What's that? Will cause unnecessary the pro she said the proper position. Head. I said the proper position Straighten is up. hunched. Yes. Keep, your Keep yourself straight, hunched at all but times. Not rigid. Relax. Keep a flat back. Relax. Comfort. Don't do it. Shift your position on your chair <laughs> frequently. <laughs> this debutante slouch may be alluring at some social function. Yeah, that slouch is real alluring. Standing in this oh, baby. Will cause back oh, yeah. Strain and perhaps oh, more yeah. serious trouble. <laughs> Keep the parts of the body in a straight line, one above the other. Oh, there's some guys like who go for this look. And reduce fatigue. We must also <laughs> reduce the teeth? To work efficiently and safely. 
fatigue is the cause of many accidents. Oh, it's hilarious. You can do a lot toward overcoming tiredness by proper so rest tired. and diet. It's 8.20 in the morning. You sleep every night and I regular the balanced meals. <laughs> Where's the fainting couch? Secret, every woman knows. <laughs> you guys have a fainting couch in your apartment. We wouldn't in your be women house, if we weren't concerned about our figures. Yeah, it's called the couch. An extra pound here oh. or there can sometimes cause great concern <laughs> and mental anguish. You're getting fat, Dolores. Many of us now in industry <laughs> formerly did work that required less physical energy. A piece oh, of no. Toast, weak tea and a lot of <laughs> conversation tea. used to be our excuse for lunch. But mm, appetizing. Activity at our jobs She's now able to have some soup and toast. energy to do these jobs efficiently. We can get this extra energy. Get your weak bodies in shape right and habits. work like a man. And drink some weak tea. And drink some Many weak tea. Many women now eat their big meal at noon. They don't get home <laughs> their to big eat meal. Family, right. They eat a substantial. You're rest. a big girl now. <laughs> You're a big girl now. The way we feel. <laughs> All diet experts stress the importance of protective foods. These so-called diet experts. Where were they during the war? Beefy vegetables, green salads, fruit. And enriched Fruit. wheat bread are basic sources of energy and strength. And whatever so the hell this is. Worried about our figures, <laughs> <which> <laughs> we don't slice a chocolate cake. Okay. <laughs> what did they think women were eating before they went to work? So this? Cheesecake every day? Yep, don't cake, pastries. This is all they eat. You. Some kind of paste. I don't know what that thing is on the left, but it's probably paste. <laughs> You can't and eat pastries anymore. You have to eat food. No more lunch. spackling paste Infection for lunch. Infection and untold suffering may result from a harmless appearing scratch. So let some I got a hangnail. Decide how serious it is. Oh, well, that was progressive. They didn't. They said competent injury. person. However, Ooh. too much is due to the outside interest. Yeah, we don't know how that how that person is presenting here. The they do. Exactly. We may feel that we simply have to take an extra day off. To get a lot of shopping done or get out of uh, the camera work is shaky at best. But we must realize all Hope nobody is seasick from watching this. Oh my god. Done, we will have to sacrifice personal It does seem it seems do like the beginning or like the cutscenes from a off, it leaves empty spaces in like the from the Blair Witch. <laughs> no from oh shoot, yeah. From one of those horror movies. I'm trying to think of Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie movies. Can cause a slow up I think the cameraman's just drunk. <laughs> he hasn't had enough pastries. Yeah, this is about the camera work that the I'd probably be able way to manage. We can so, keep vital materials flowing in a steady stream. Thousands of women arrive at work. Husbands, sweethearts, and neighbors on the They come in caravans. Is to stay ah, on the job. K A R A caravans. Good <laughs> <habits>. <laughs> ah, work ah. safely. And keep up our end of the job. Ah, That's our, our end part of in the job. About a uh -huh. quick victory gotcha. And a quick return of our loved ones. Our rear end. Mm hmm. Keep your rear end up. Victory challenges us. Just as pioneer women followed <laughs> their husbands this. to new lands this is and this from Zorro. Took up muskets to defend their homes. <laughs> I stole this from the Zorro. Are they about to? So today, are women doing their <laughs> Are they about part. to ram into a building Some and blow up? Armed forces, well, it looks like it. Some as nurses. Come on, kid, grab a gun. Tools in the war Just stands there staring. We women Armies of women. Are a vital part of the bulwark of national strength. I'm a bulwark. We must resolve to work hard in our important places in the Shit. fight to bring about a lasting peace. God the damn it! Turn that of thing off. Working women in the production of materials must make our enemies afraid of our day of victory. They're afraid of us that slouching. That is sure to come. Our enemies must be made to feel the mighty Was power. Was it slouching of or hunching? I think I said hunching. The and they must fear the pastries. Behind yes. Behind the gun. Fear our chocolate our cake. Our enemies must know that for them, there is danger. Women at work. Ooh. Beware. Well, that's the, the end. <laughs> now the women can go back home. All right. Uh, so that was our, our uh, presentation for tonight, so to speak. Uh, what would you think, Kara? Well, I enjoyed the second uh, short a lot more than the first one because I understood what was going on. Mm. Sexism. Are you sure? So it was great. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, all right. Well, I think the, the Women at Work short was to have very shaky photography on it, but otherwise uh, certainly entertaining, if nothing else. A uh, picture of what life might have been like back in the World War II. Uh, so. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I want to thank uh, Kara Apple for joining us uh, for this episode of Two Drunk Guys Watch. And until next time. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Until next time, keep things interesting. <laughs> <laughs>